From the moment that the cab pulled up to the terminal, and I saw this magnificent stretch of ship in front of me, I was really amazed. Once you're on board the ship and start walking around and seeing the whole variety of things that there are to do, the variety of dining rooms and lounges, it is amazing, totally surprising. Thank you very much. Okay, folks, give us your best smile. We call her the eighth wonder of the world, flagship of the Cunard fleet, Queen Elizabeth II, a gallant ambassador sailing around the globe or gliding on shimmering Caribbean waters. A dazzling city at sea with an array of activities and facilities to please every taste. Any true Texan will love the QE2 because it is big and wonderful and I think it really appeals to the bigger than life attitude that we enjoy and appreciate as Texans. As Queen Elizabeth II enters the 21st century, sleek and modern as any vessel afloat, she carries a tradition of hospitality and service that makes her a living legend to travelers throughout the world. What's your cabin number, please? Oh, the Queen Mary suite. You're in the Queen Mary suite? Yes. Right, you go down this deck, right down to Ace Tower, and this gentleman's going to assist you. Good afternoon and welcome aboard to you. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome aboard. Your cabin number uh, 5047. Thank you. Full breakfasts and 24-hour room service are available in every cabin category, a leisurely way to begin the voyage. Bye. Bye-bye. Well, my dear, what would you like to do today? Mm, I don't know. I'd like to go swimming first for a while. And then, how about going to the gym and working off some of these calories? Yeah, I've been going to the Golden Door and working out, which is great, because while on other ships that claim that they have an exercise space, it's very small. Half the time the stationary bikes don't work. There's no one there really to supervise you. And in this case, it's wonderful because there are people around all day long to help you. Two, three, four, and five, six, seven, and eight. Well, it's a very first luxury cruise like this. And before we came, our grandchildren were very, very surprised that there were going to be swimming pools on board. And there are, in fact, four. And I've tried all four. <laughs> and my husband, uh, John, has uh, pho taken photographs of me swimming in yeah. them, just to prove it. <laughs> yeah. We found the ship absolutely fabulous. Uh, it's, it's far beyond, I think, our expectations. Oh, yes, it? yes. John likes to watch all the girls go by. This is the thing. He's admiring the scenery <laughs> as it goes by. Yes. yes, the bird life's pretty good on here. <laughs> I've been to the nursery this morning to uh, have a look at the children playing up there and uh, the most lovely nursery school there for them. Everything that a child could possibly want. Happy birthday Activities aboard QE2 appeal to even the youngest sailor and irrepressible teens will find a club designed just for them. I think we can honestly say that from the age of nine months to 99 years old, there's something for everybody. I think the main function of a cruise director, apart from what goes on behind the scenes, is to make sure that everybody has a terrific time, because whether they be young, middle-aged or old, to see that they go off as feeling part of a family. People almost complain there's too much going on. They, uh, the selection is vast. So every day they have plenty to fill their time in. Or else you want to have a quiet time. We have a super library, well stocked with books. You can quietly go and sit in the deck chair and just enjoy it. As people do, they enjoy the weather and the sunshine and sit quietly on deck and they, they enjoy that. So whatever you want to do is here. It's a, the best way to ever travel. We are the last of the great liners on the transatlantic and she's very suitable for the Atlantic run. So she will remain as the Atlantic crossing or cruising ship, I think, 
Well, forget this landing. It's a cruise across the Atlantic. It's more fun that way. Embrace me, you irreplaceable you. Whether a transatlantic crossing or a cruise to exotic ports of call, QE2 is your destination. With theater and entertainment, library and casino, a variety of shipboard lifestyles. You and you alone. Cabins grade for grade are the largest afloat with lovely decor, generous bathrooms and wardrobes, personal VCRs in Princess and Queen's Grill cabins, direct dial telephones and multi-channel televisions in all. I haven't done a lot except eat. I think that's seen the main activity as far as I'm concerned. Our professional crew takes pride in pleasing passengers, especially in our four world-class restaurants, assigned according to cabin grade. Enjoy the ocean view from your table, dinner dancing in the contemporary Columbia restaurant, or here in the Mauritania, traditional ambiance and decor. Our compliments to the chef. Choose fine wine from the ship's renowned 20,000 bottle wine cellar. Awfully good. Tell me, how do you pronounce the name of this wine? Moet is a Dutch name, and with proper names, the rules do not apply, so it is properly pronounced Moet. The new QE2 caters to the modern age. The Magridome, with its indoor outdoor center, offers the informal alternative of alfresco dining for breakfast and lunch in the Club Lido. So we had uh, dinner at the Princess Grill last night, and uh, from the champagne and the caviar and uh, the cold lobster and the, the excellent service, uh, everything's just been terrific. Bon appétit. I've had the opportunity to talk to some of the waiters, and I tell them I'm in the business, and I've talked to a lot of the, lot of the bartenders I've talked to. I've checked all the <laughs> bars out, and uh, it's really been a lot of fun. Uh, the wine list is terrific, uh, the menu, the variations of, of the selections which you can order, you know, right from lunch and dinner. So it's been a real eating experience, which is my favorite way to go. Here I go again. I hear the trumpets blow again. I'm all aglow again. I'm taking a chance on love. Well, the initial feeling is one of escape uh, from the uh, maddening pace uh, in, you know, New York. And, uh, and it is a great way to get away from it all. Right? Uh, we're away from all the worries of business. Uh, I guess people can reach you here if they absolutely have to. And uh, uh, you need it. I think it's, it's the greatest therapy in the world. see that the age group on board the ship is not just what a lot of people think just the very elderly can afford to travel. We get lots of young people coming back time and time again. She's so diversified that uh, I think she's the greatest ambassador of the seas uh, ever built. This is my fifth crossing on the Queen E. I just think it's a very nice way to start a holiday. You have four or five relaxing days at sea before you have the busy city at either end. And what we do, or will do this time, is spend a couple of weeks and then go back on the Concorde. The last of the great superliners sailing the seven seas. The fastest passenger ship afloat, which allows more ports to see and more time to enjoy them. From the best destination of all, Queen Elizabeth II. 
Our unique Festival of Life program features celebrities, newsmakers, and well-known experts in health, fashion, finance, fitness, and fun. Our boardroom offers an ideal setting for business meetings at sea or private parties. Oh, good to see you, Steve. Did you win big? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm always introduced as Robin Moore, who wrote The Green Berets, The French Connection, and many more. The Queen Mary and Queen Elizabeth were the most celebrated pair. One sailed each week from the opposite direction. The Queen Mary was leaving New York, the Queen Elizabeth was leaving Southampton, and so was the most luxurious relay in the world. I've been shopping and my credit card is really happy. I've been using it a lot. Uh, I think the shopping on the ship is fantastic. I, I've never seen it. I was looking yesterday at, in the jewelry stores and if I were very wealthy, I would now have a graduated diamond necklace for $250,000. When you don't find that sort of thing on other cruise ships. At the same time, in the perfumery, I got some really good bargains. And looking around throughout the stores, I even found you could buy things for a dollar and a half, little QE2 shopping bags. and. Uh, T-shirts for $8, so the whole thing, it's a real good shopping opportunity, whether you're rich or not so rich. A range of personal services, beauty care, massage, and even tuxedo rentals are available aboard. Lovely Mrs. Tuffin, I'll just take you through to Richard. Just come this way, please. Some very interesting people, which I think is part of cruising, meeting people from other countries. And sometimes it takes a while to get to know people, particularly if you're British, because you're all rather reserved. But I find that on board ship, uh, that reserve is broken down, and I think that's one of the very enjoyable parts of the whole thing. I'm one of these Every evening on QE2, is an occasion to remember. Good evening, can I have your last names? Means. Mr. and Mrs. Means. But, oh my dear, our love is here to stay. Mr. and Mrs. LaBerge celebrating their honeymoon. My congratulations, yeah. may oh, I just kiss the bride? That's oh, yeah. It would be my pleasure. Thank you. And what a nice place to have your honeymoon. It certainly oh, is. absolutely lovely. Are you enjoying it? Yes, very much. Very much. Thank okay. you. Well, have a nice evening. We'll I'll, I'll see you in the course of the voyage. Our love is here. Our love is here to stay. suite is absolutely beautiful. I think they thought of everything. A bar, uh, well stocked with uh, glasses. Uh, indeed, your bar was is stocked with champagne from uh, when I walked onto the uh, ship. The veranda uh, is uh, oh, it's nice and airy. Right, room for at least four people to sit comfortably. It's good to see you. Come on. Good evening. Nice to see you again. Remember, Oh yes. My gosh. Have, have you been down to the, uh, to the Golden Door now? Yes, have you? Right. So you're keeping very fit. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's delightful. Thank you. I had a word with the chef. And he's, and he's really sort of uh, looking forward to seeing you again. The Queen's Grill is premier among our three first-class restaurants, where special orders are encouraged. This is one of the things that we like to do. In this restaurant, we like to take everybody to their table, which, of course, is a thing you don't get in so many establishments these days. Plus the fact that this isn't like any other restaurant. The fact is that people here are at least five days with you. Some, of course, as on the world cruise, three months. We consider ourselves one of the top ten restaurants in the world. As you know, that if anybody wants anything that's not on the menu, we can, we can just order it any time. Whatever it is, we'll do it. We haven't been beaten of a dish yet. It's true. The food is excellent. I, I would dare say we compare it to any three or four star restaurant in New York or any of your major metropolitan areas. It's a gastronomic delight.
Repeat passengers invariably ask for the same table again and the same waiters. And that, that every voyage you get that. Of course, the main main purpose, of course, is to keep the, make passengers happy and keep them happy. Uh, whatever the requ requirements are, that's what we do. And our main object is to send them off to QE2 with a sweet taste in their mouths. After dinner, entertainment and dancing is for your pleasure nightly. Come to the cabaret in the Grand Lounge or the Queen's Room and enjoy the show. Entertainment has become more sophisticated. I think people uh, have been able to travel from all walks of life, and I think that's great. Because it's the greatest education you can have is travel, I think. Very good evening to you, ma'am. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? I'd well? say to anyone right, that suffers from stress from climbing the corporate ladder, I take a cruise ship. You'll love it. Right? and you'll come back rejuvenated, and refreshed, and ready to jump back into the business world and uh, only long enough to earn enough money to take another cruise, mind you. There's no vacation where you can get this kind of relaxation. You come on board and you unpack once and that's it. It's really a total relaxing time. She is now moving into the 21st century. A delightful ship. She can cover all tastes. She is the, the queen, I think, of the seas. Right where she should be, right in the forefront of all cruise ships and liners. Cunard's flagship. Queen Elizabeth II, tomorrow's superliner today.